Welcome to the Vision Edge Marketing One Good Idea series, where Laura and I share a smart marketing tip in each episode based on our work and conversations with other business professionals and experts. We always welcome a conversation. It's our promise that you'll always leave with at least one good idea. In this episode, we're going to talk about niche marketing. That is marketing to a specialized group or segment. Before we walk through the example, Laura, would you define niche markets a bit more? Yes, I'd be happy to do that. People are pretty familiar with niches. There's segments of a larger market that have their own unique needs, preferences, and something that makes them different from the market at large. For example, ice cream for vegans mm. or virtual assistant chatbots for CEOs. I could use one of those. <laughs> Companies pursuing niches need strategies that organize a product, the content, and the offers around this very specific and specialized segment. It's really looking at your existing or potential customers and delving deep into something that makes them unique or identifying a unique unmet need, then deciding how to meet that need and select and implement a market strategy to engage with and acquire customers in this segment. That's exactly right. And the first step is to make sure there are enough potential customers in the niche to warrant a unique strategy. I have ice cream on the brain. And who would have thought there would be a need for vegan ice cream 20 years ago? <laughs> but here we are today, and there are at least a dozen places in Austin where you can get vegan ice cream. I'm not going to lie. It's one of my favorite kinds of ice cream. So you see, there really is a niche. <laughs> the beauty of niches is that they create opportunities for growth. Let's talk about a B2B technology company we know who was very successful in several verticals, particularly the healthcare industry. Yes, they had a number of healthcare customers, but they looked at these customers as one homogenous group. They did, and that, that was actually not true, because in reality, there were quite a few niches inside the vertical market that provided opportunities for them to expand. There are a lot of companies that have vertical industry focus, so delving deeper into the vertical and looking for niches can provide a good growth strategy. Yes, as long as the solution is a good fit and truly meets the unique need. That would mean you would need to be a very customer-centric versus product-centric technology company. Yes, and that was going to be a transition for this customer. And if you are a customer-centric organization, there are a number of first steps you need to take to see if you can parse your segment into niches. You want to determine how many customers you have in the group and the potential number of those customers you think that you can acquire. And what, if anything, you will need to do to modify your solution to capture more of these customers. Mm. In the case of our customer, the answer was yes. They were strong in a couple of niches and there were plenty of more potential customers with the same need. The beauty of niches is that you already know a great deal about the customer and the solution. It's the nuances and the distinctions that provide the opportunity. Exactly. And once we had this clarity, we could craft strategies and tactics specific to the niche. This didn't require making significant modifications to the application, but it did require modifying the positioning, the website, content, and other assets. Calling out the niche is an integral part of the process, like calling out ice cream for vegans. <laughs> So part of the strategy might be how the application is branded. For sure. And that once you start paying attention to niches, you can see lots and lots of examples. Like think about the hotel industry. Look at all the properties owned by various hotel companies, each with their own brand intended for a different market or niche, each meeting a different need. They all have their own marketing strategy and tactics, including websites, content, and other assets. This is a really important point. So we'll leave you with this one good idea. If you have traction in a segment and you want to grow, consider looking for niches. Of course, smart marketers know that this course of action requires developing a strategy and plan very specific to the niche. And that's this episode's one good idea and smart marketing tip. You can find more ideas on segmentation on the Vision Edge marketing website. Please like our video if this was helpful to you and please subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified of future smart marketing tips that we'll share in the future. Thanks for joining us.